Okay, hello dear friends. This one is a trigonometric problem and uh, it's about uh, sine, uh, the, the law of sine or law of cosine. One friend asked, uh, when do I use law of sine? When do I use law of cosine? And sometimes it's kind of confusing. So as a basic rule, you do not need to remember with SSS, SAS, SSA, SAS, whichever side or angle you you use as a base. No, you use logic. You put the given and draw the triangle. It is very important to draw it out and visually see the problem. And when you see the problem, seeing is believing. When you see the problem, maybe the problem is halfway solved. And the first triangle is uh, question number one is 90 degree. Uh, it's a straight triangle. We will not need to work on that. I assume that we all know that. Okay, we start from question number three. I copy the problem. Question number three. A equal two, B equal three, C equal, oh, sorry, I zoomed too big, C equal four. So uh, we have three signs given. Okay, to begin with, we will need to draw the picture. We have one side is 2, and this is A equal to 2, and another side is 3. B equal to 3, and the last side, uh oh, this should be longer, I am not so good at the proportion, C equal to 4. When you see this A, B, C and you think about your uh, a formula for, um, for uh, law of sign. Law of sign is A, let me write down, this will be the angle A goes with side A and B Angle B goes with side goes against the side B. Angle C goes against the side C. Right? A B C. So the law of sine is A in proportion of sine A equal to B over sine B equal C sine C. Okay, let's see. We have A, we have B, we have C, but we are missing angle. If we use this question, and this is only, this is one equation, right? This is the extension of it. We do not need, we only need, uh, only need one equation we can help to help us to solve the problem. Let's see, we know A, we know B, but sine A is unknown, sine B is unknown, because the angle A is unknown, the angle B is unknown. So there are two unknown in this problem, and for C it's the same thing, the three sides, it's just um, randomly put on it arbitrarily. So we do not have enough condition, condition enough known given uh, condition to solve this problem. Okay, this is uh, uh, the, the, the law of sine. Now, let's take a look of the law of cosine. What is law of cosine? A square equal to B square plus C square minus two uh, B C sine a, let me take a look. I was thinking, I 
uh, law of cosine, law of cosine, law of cosine, find an image. Yes, yes. Uh, no, no, no. Cosine, cosine, because it's cosine, right? Oh, is actually when you see this is all very symmetrically arranged. So B equal to A square plus C square minus two A C cosine B, and C square equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine c. Okay, so how about we solve this problem with the law of cosine? We know a is given, a is given, b is given, b is, c is given, and b, c, we only have one unknown variable so we can solve this problem we have everything here it just needs some calculation computer calculator will help us to do it so in this case we can solve this problem through law of cosine because we have we have enough given enough known information and we need to find one unknown information with, with uh, sufficient known information. We can solve this problem. So for three sides, law of sine does not work. Law of cosine will work. Okay, now we take a look at another one. I will not go into detail to solve it. Uh, let's do just... Uh, um, a little bit of it, okay? So A, let's figure out what is the angle of C. So A, 2 square equal to 3 square plus 4 square minus 2 times 3 times 4 cosine A, right? So 4 equal 9 plus 16 minus 24 cosine A. And uh, uh, I put them together. This is uh, 425 and 24 cosine A. This move to this side. Equal to 21. So cosine A equal to equal to uh, uh, 21 over 24 which is 7 over 8 so the angle a cosine inverse of uh, 7 over 8 you get a number you get number and that number is either a degree or radian of a when you find a you can use the same method to find b because a b c they are just arbitrarily and uh, and they they are they are in uh, theoretically they are equal right not in the length equal but in the in the content in the in the in the core thing subject is equal so you can figure out b you can equally figure out c, c and you can solve this triangle okay i try to make it short let me see if i will do another one I will do it in another sheet, okay? So I will title this video as the use of law of cosine. Thank you.